and I can now start to draw something. So um, since I deal a lot with transistors, let's draw a transistor. Okay, so I'm going to grab my line over here. And this is the uh, kind of uh, most uh, like basic way I would say to do it. It is not foolproof, but if I do it well, I can do it once and then reuse it by grouping and, and making more. So I made a line over here. I just want to show you that I can also utilize this thing where I can make, uh, I can change the, um, uh, the size of, for example, a line by using the um, uh, format shape toolbox so I can make it bigger or smaller. And maybe I should start with something that's kind of a, a round number. So a two centimeter long line here that will be one of the connectors and I can do control D to duplicate this thing and put it somewhere over here and I can make another line and let's make this line um, let's say one and a half centimeters long and then I'm going to try and uh, use well maybe even uh, less than that so let's make this one centimeter long and um, that's going to be the head of my transistor like the gate I'm going to put another one over there. Now uh, I'm going to connect it. So I'll make another line over here. I want to turn around the line. So I could go like this and try and um, get it to be a vertical line. But instead of that, I can also hold the Alt key down and use the arrow keys to turn it by a certain amount of degrees. And I exactly get to a 90 degree angle. or So it'll be up and down kind of like that. Now it's really hard. This is one of the things that Visio does much better than PowerPoint. I want to have this connect well so I don't have any little, you know, uh, jogs at the end. It's very hard to do and it's actually inconsistent. I just zoomed in the most I could on PowerPoint. Um, what I could do now is I can align to the right, for example. Okay, now these two guys are aligned to the right, but as you see, the uh, actual, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little um, corner over here that is not aligned, and I want it to be aligned. So I'm going to have to use my arrow keys and go uh, little jogs a bit, and there's uh, even another one. Now they are both uh, aligned. Actually, I could even go one more, and now they are both aligned. What about on the bottom? I'm going to go down, 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 um, and those uh, little handles, they even bother me. So I haven't gone past yet. Now I'm past, so I, I'm just doing this like one time to make sure that I get it exact and accurate. Okay, now I'm exactly um, at the edge for the two of them. Okay, um, I'm going to make sure that these guys are uh, perfectly aligned, which they are. And now um, I need to make this uh, guy shorter. So I can either do it with that, but that just uh, killed what I wanted to do. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, hold the shift key and pull down um, and hope for the best. OK, I got it somewhere around there. Uh, that looks like it'll be an OK height. Um, what is the length of my it's 0.71. I don't like that. I would rather have something that's more um, kind of a, a, a full number so I can pull it to uh, maybe uh, 0.75. Maybe that works a bit better. Okay, now I'll take this guy and I want to make sure again that it's aligned. It's aligned over there. And one more. I still can't see it, so it's okay. Still can't see it. Oh. Okay, now it's over and I pull it back a bit. Pull it back. Okay, I'm perfectly aligned now. I'm going to align these two guys to the left like that. Align left. Right. And uh, maybe make this a bit high, uh, higher up. Um, OK, I should be able to duplicate this and it will be the perfect height that I want. So I'm duplicating that. I can align these two to the top. Oops. Align them to the top, this guy and this guy. OK, and then I can move this over. Oops. See, they were both selected, so they both moved. I can move this over just with my arrow keys to get it one more step there. And now I want to move this guy over to get him uh, along there a bit less. Um, I can actually shorten my lines over here because I'm not. I can always make it longer and shorter. So uh, there, my transistor is pretty much made. Maybe I should make these two guys the same size. So I'll make that one centimeter, and I'll make this guy one centimeter. Pull it over there and okay. So now I have my transistor. One thing I'm missing is the connection to the gate. Okay, so what I can do is I can probably move this around and it's not showing me where the center is, but uh, uh, I can ask it to be centered. It may move something. So uh, 
No, it didn't. It did a good job. On Visio, by the way, the first one that you select will be the one that you align to. So if I select those two and I, uh, in that order, one of them will have a different color and it will be the thing that I align to. So if I do align center, it will align to that. So that's another thing that's better in Visio. So now I have a transistor over here and I can select it and group it. Um, one problem with this is, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I do see it on my uh, high resolution here, is that now I, I do see a little bit of a difference over here and over here and it's really interesting what will happen when I export this to PDF it will if it'll be nice or not so I can go and export this as a PDF again I want to do the current slide and uh, just save this as a transistor well um, and remember that I should have written down uh, transistor so this did not come out nice you see there is an extra little uh, thing over there and over there so that is not what I wanted and that is one of the big problems that I have with PowerPoint. If I want to get it, you don't really see it when you zoom out. But if you do zoom in, you you see that. Uh, however, if I if I fix that one time, or I make thicker lines, or something like that, or I can even use rounder edges on these um, on these lines, then it's not that big a, a, a bother. Okay. Um, from my methodology, we should uh, you know have a text box over here that is called transistor. So we know what to later on name this uh, file that we just saved. Okay, so now I have a transistor. I can duplicate it, and I can make a PMOS version, for example. So I can um, either, I can probably ungroup this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to make a circle. Uh, I want the circle to be a perfect circle. If I just pull it, I'm going to get all kinds of weird ovals, but if I hold down the shift key, it's going to be symmetric. So I'm going to get it about that size. Um, and... One thing that happens with small things is I get these four handles, which are easy to grab, and I can put it over here. Um, either I can fill that up. I can usually just fill this with a white fill, um, and then I won't see the line behind it. Or instead of doing that, I can actually uh, just make this a bit shorter. So I can do it with my height over here. And you see that now I have my PMOS transistor, and I can group that. And now I can reuse um, this guy as much as I want. Same I can do with making something like an inverter, right? I can take a, a triangle, decide on what kind of ratio I want it to have. Uh, again, to flip it, so I can either use, as I said, this handle, or I can use the alt and right and left, or I can also go to uh, my same organize, uh, uh, my same organize tab, uh, arrange tab. And I can do rotate, and I can rotate to the right 90 degrees. There are all kinds of options for rotating. And then I could do something like I could even copy this um, guy here and paste it and then use that same uh, circle. And I have my inverter. Probably I'd want to maybe make a copy of these lines and use them as well. Um, so I got a line there and a line there and now i'm going to center them all to make sure because i don't know if i by uh, by eye centered them but i did and now i have my inverter so this is how i can make uh, many of these different things all right and uh, i'll add to it you know um, this will be called inverter one and i can move that guy somewhere uh, to be with it or whatever and that can also be part of it um, I can have another text box over here, you know, that's going to be called like M1 or something like that. Um, maybe that's a bit too big, so I can make it a bit smaller. Um, I can center it and then move the handle so I know it's centered in the middle of the transistor, even though it's not exactly, but yeah, something like that. Um, and then I can grab it and group it together. So um, now I'm going to go and connect these two guys, right? So um, I can take them and I can just make this longer and make sure that these guys overlap well. It's a bit hard to see. I can zoom in on it. Um, I see that they're not overlapped well. I still have this question of how they're going to come out in the PDF because PowerPoint is not accurate in this way. I also see that I need to move this guy a bit. Um, but uh, you can uh, debug that in your PDF or uh, have it at such a uh, small level that it's not visible really in your things. Okay, so I had this and that and um, now I'm going to, you know, uh, make this other one that's going to connect, for example, from over here. Um, and uh, something that is also very important when you make different schematic figures, because I see a lot of people not doing this actually. And uh, you really want to 
make sure. So um, if I have a connection over here, um, or if this guy just crosses, what you want to do is you want to put a circle um, over there that shows connecting. So I choose the circle again. I pull uh, pull it with the shift key. I fill it in with a black circle, and then I will move it to be on the middle of uh, this area. So I have my circle, and, and I can just copy that over for other connecting dots that I want to have along my circuit. And let's say that now I'm finished with my uh, design, so um, I'm going to save this. So I hit Save As again, and before I hit Save As, what uh, what did I call the file that I want to replace because I just updated? Aha, it's called Transistor, so I can just grab and copy that, do my Save As, uh, PDF, Options, Current Slide, OK, change the name here to what I just copied, and it will overwrite it. Um, that did not work because I did not close uh, the, the previous drawing in my um, PDF viewer, so I do that again. PowerPoint is very nice. It makes me hit the buttons like 25 times again, but uh, I do not have an automation for overcoming that. So now I will overwrite that one, and I have my new um, nice picture over here. So I have a file called Transistor PDF, and in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that into my LaTeX project um, into Overleaf.